Hey guys, we're just doing a real quick review of the Stockade Brew Co. Double Neeper Berries and Cream. This is recommended by a beefy mate of mine. Picked him up a bottle, a little can. And I thought I'd get myself one as well. I cracked it already and uh, I had a sniff and a quick swig. I just thought I'd put this uh, video up because I was super duper hella impressed. Uh, it is a double neeper, as it says, at 7%, is it? Uh, 2.3 standard drinks, oh, 8.6%, sorry. Um, it says, go back to the old school milk bar with a milky, hazy, strawberry and cream hit BYO straw. So anyway, let's have a quick look at the video I don't want this to go on for a long time but I'm gonna get back to enjoying this so on the nose it, it is like a berry smoothie you get the sweetness from the lactose I'm assuming strawberries uh, raspberries it's really light fruit it's not that super um, that's sometimes fake sweet. Hey, lemon. Um, you can sometimes get from using extract. Maybe it is extract. <sighs> yeah, nice. Well, cheese, I'm going in. And then boom. Get it, Pete. Um, yeah, I'm not sure you would like this, Pete, but um, it's a damn impressive beer. I'm not even sure that I like it. Well, I do I do like it. <laughs> no quarter, how are you? How are you, Chris? Um, yes, it is murky. It's a Nipah. Um, so, but it's not like a, it's a fruit Nipah. I don't know if they get the, they must have, I reckon there's, there's got to be berries in this. It can't do all be hops. So you get the pec pectin, pectin haze from fruit. Um, <clears throat> it's got a good bitterness though. Um, I'd say it's fairly high bitterness when the, the sweetness and the lactose is kind of masking that bitterness, but on the back end, I don't know if it's a bit of the acidity from uh, some of the berries, um, but yeah, it's it sort of stops it getting really super sweet because the lactose, or I'm assuming it's lactose, kind of gets quite sweet on the uh, on the palate, but then the bitterness sort of stops that from just getting too much. So yeah, um, I think that's all I want. I want to. I was super duper impressed with this beer. If you see it, I'd recommend trying it. Like I said, I don't know that I'd have more than one, but it's a delicious beer. And I'm hoping that I can go back and get some of the Wayward uh, Coffee and Donuts um, Stout. I believe it's just been released in cans. Uh, so I'll be going back to the local bottle o and doing that. And, um, yeah, but anyway, four minutes, it's getting up there. I'm gonna go and let you guys get back to your Friday. You're probably doing more of this, I reckon. Yeah, it's different. It's different, Lemon. There is some hops in the background, but that berry note at the front, mmm. That's all right, drunken one. No worries. Uh, I did respond to your technical request, drunk uh, question, drunken one. I don't know if you saw my reply. Don't know if it helped or not. But yeah, it could be a good one for the for the missus, Pete. Um, I reckon. Um, oh, by the way, drunken one, I've only been live for like five minutes, so. Didn't expect there to be many, but I wanted to do a quick video on this because I, I was 
I enjoyed it. Anyway, happy Friday, everyone, or as my daughter calls it, Friday. So I'm going to go and enjoy my Friday. So cheers, everyone, and uh, cheers to Stocko Bruco. Ciao.